so pretty much trying to put some work here on the back of the house um, in our little you know welding station however you guys want to call it uh, so yeah we're trying to make the place a little more comfortable you know clean up a little bit because you know winter's coming and we're gonna do some fabrication work in here and also I wanted to show you guys something that I got over the weekend uh, this is a master force 26 by 19 steel tabletop now this is gonna be replacing this I don't know if you guys recall but I made it this uh, I don't know this kind of heat sink type of welding table a uh, few months back um, we're not gonna be using this anymore hey, my friend with a 350c 2jz um, he has this and I don't know if you guys recall maybe like two or three videos back that we were doing some welding stuff on his welding setup and then he had this and it felt really comfortable and hey I went and grabbed one So take a look guys, actually the quality of this is actually very nice, very good, very comfortable. You have a measure tape over here, right, that is engraved to the plates, angle here if you guys need angle stuff, very nice on this side too, you got inches, well it's same thing, Just same on both sides, and also come with some, uh, very nice some bolt and nuts for you to mount it onto wherever you guys want so here my custom made tabletop from Home Depot special all rust up and here's the Master Force tabletop damn this is so nice and clean I'm not gonna lie that Home Depot special was pretty ratchet compared to this and I spent like kinda 30-40 bucks in material so might as well just send it with this you know this is nice because it's lightweight, comfortable to put your arms on. Very nice, plug and play, no modification needed. Just dump it and send it. Very good. And also it's cool because this is metal, you know, and you could just, you know, put your ground anywhere you want. So pretty much back to the 240. Very nice out. Woo, chilling. Uh, you guys know. Back to the grind, the teardowns continue. Uh, what we're gonna do today is pretty much, uh, we are gonna try to take out all the fluids. Uh, we're gonna take the turbo apart.
so pretty much the radiator is out I wanted to show you guys the lower radiator support that I custom made it it's pretty nice this thing held up pretty good though pretty much uh, what I did over here is I used a L metal thingy from Home Depot uh, and I created a base plate so I could just bolt it up into the chassis pretty simple process reinforce it over here with some tick weld same on this side, this side is better and here and also added the uh, bolting point right for the power brazers just you know bolt it up over here the headlight bracket and the hood bracket pretty simple pretty straightforward and this thing is a lot more rigid than the OEM one the OEM was too way too flimsy it broke over here and also it broke over here the damage and crack from the pulley now this is the Jay-Z the 1J OEM pulley you can tell from over here this thing is about to tear apart like badly I'm pretty sure if I do another event I mean I just didn't want to risk it you know never know this mechanical stuff you could just fall apart and you just damage your crankshaft and you're gonna have a bad day so as you guys know from the previous video I got a brand new pulley for it uh, easy to replace impact this out get it done where's the boss where's the boss pretty much use the boss I think it's a 22 this thing was definitely bring it out with no problem take it out swing it out you know put the new one in and you're good if you guys never touched the Jay-Z motor and you guys wonder how to take out a serpentine belt from the Jay-Z pretty simple you grab a 14 millimeter wrench put it on the idler tensioner whatever you guys want to call it you press it down and you slide the belt out easy just like so simple huh so pretty much receive another part that was on the mail this is a replacement as well wow banging there it is a brand new 2J oil pump this is a 2JZ oil pump um, as you guys know 2J's and 1J's part are interchangeable pretty simple these are plug and play as well but before we put in this in we're gonna open it and also modify the internals so we can have more oil pressure since we're bringing the boost up on the motor we want to be on the safe side too and bring more fluid into the block um, you guys don't have to do this but I'm doing it you know just for future if you want to go more horsepower I don't have to do this anymore
So pretty much I took a whole bunch of stuff out today. I drained the fluid, radiator, the reservoir, unplugged a whole bunch of things from the harness, took the O2 sensor out. I was about to take the turbo out, but I got a little lazy. I had to go underneath and unbolt this bolt. This is for the elbow. This one we're gonna be replacing with the Tome. Uh, what else I did? I took out the serpentine belt. I show you guys how to do that. There's really nothing left to do though. Well, I gotta drink the oil out so I could just remove everything on this side. I gotta drink the 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 fuel, the power steering fluid. Pretty much here, I unbolted the turbo manifold, the turbo. Now all these are 14 millimeter bolts. Pretty simple. Everything is plug and play. Um, over here with the elbow, I still gotta go under and disconnect the downpipe, uh, the elbow, and then bring the turbo out. After that, I'm gonna take that uh, turbo manifold out, and I'm gonna be replacing the gasket as well. I'm thinking of leaving the motor in so I could just service it inside the car. It's a lot easier. Now, you might, you guys might think, oh, I won't have space. I will do have space because remember, this thing here is removable. So once I pull this thing out, all this thing is gonna come out. It's gonna be a lot easier if you service the crank pulley, leaving the motor inside the car because we still have everything attached, like the clutch, the dry shaft, and everything, the dry train. That would prevent the crank to spin. So pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave the car in gear, first, second, or third, whatever you guys want. Uh, crack that open, right this, I think it's a uh, 22 millimeter bolt. Crack it open, replace your pulley, tighten it back up. I think you have to torque it down back to 275 pounds and you're good to go. Probably after all that, I might have to go under and take out the transmission fluid, disconnect everything under, and bring the motor out, replace the clutch, do whatever I have to do here in the front. You know, tub it. I think I'm thinking about tubbing it. I don't think it's gonna be a lot of work. I think more work is tubing it. So, I don't know. I need to ex extend this whole chunk of wire so I can just bring it inside the cabin. I don't want to see, I don't, I don't want to have no wiring laying around here, so it's kind of ugly. So we try to make, we try to, we try to make everything a lot cleaner, you know, a lot nicer. So, whew, it's going to be a lot of work.